Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create this morphing effect using the Niagara system in Unreal Engine 5. To get started, in Quixel Bridge, I downloaded this double-headed axe as well as this dagger. Once you have your assets downloaded, open up your content browser and right-click to create a Niagara system. I'm using an empty Niagara admitter, and I'm going to rename it NS Morph. Double-click to open it, and go to Properties, check on local space and change the sim target from CPU sim to GPU compute sim and switch from dynamic to fixed. Then under emitter update we want to hit the plus sign and add spawn verse instantaneous and we're going to change the spawn count to 10,000 so that we have a lot of particles. And then in initialize particle we're going to change the sprite size mode from onset to uniform and I'm going to make them a lot smaller since the weapons are small in scale so I'm making that 0.25. And for particle state, we want the particles to live forever, so I'm going to uncheck when lifetime has elapsed. And for sprite renderer, I'm going to change the alignment from automatic to unaligned. And now to get started with the morph effect, I'm going to go to the particle spawn, hit the plus arrow, and type in static mesh location. And we're going to create two of those, one for the dagger and one for the axe. So I'll start off with the axe, and then copy and paste to the default mesh. And then for this one, I'll add the dagger. And once again, copy and paste. And now under particle update, we're gonna hit the plus button, and we're gonna add a new scratch pad module. And under the map git, we are going to add a position. We're gonna call it position a. And now we're going to add another one. We're going to call this one position B. And now we're going to add a float which will allow us to transition from point A to B. So I'm going to call it float morph. And then we are going to expand this a little bit more to give us a little bit of breathing room. I'm going to right click into space and type in lerp and add a lerp node. And then I'm going to attach position A to A and B to B. And before I attach the float morph to the alpha, I'm going to add a saturate float, which will allow the morph to take place from the values of 0 and 1. And now the last thing I'm going to do in the scratch module is under map set I'm going to click the plus button and I'm going to add another position but this time I'm going to do a particle position opposed to common. And so with that set I'm going to attach the lerp to it and now I'm going to apply scratch so that when I go back to the system overview and in the scratch module I see position A and position B and the float. And so now what I have to do in order to activate it is lift this up and go to parameters and under Practical Attributes, and under Particle Attributes, I'm going to go to the Static Mesh Location Sample Position and put it in Position A. And I'm going to find the second one and put it into Position 2. And now we can see in the preview menu that with the float at 0, we have the dagger, and at 1, we have the axe. And if I make it 0.5, we see something in the middle. And in order to animate this, we're going to hit this down arrow and type in Sign and click it and now we can see that the effect is taking place but it's happening too fast for my liking so so you can expand the period I'm gonna make it six seconds and now you can see that really slowed things down but it's not really lasting that long for the axe so I'm gonna change the scale as well to two and now at the axe it lasts a bit longer and I'm kinda of happy with it and so the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to add some color so I'm gonna add scale color and under scale RGB you can go down here and type in linear and you can click make vector from linear color RGB. You can choose the color from here, but I'm going to add a color from curve. I'm going to start off with blue and then I'm going to go to red. And I'm going to make sure that the opacity is set to one at the end. And the colors are being weird because we haven't added the sign. So instead of normalized age for particles, we're going to go down here and we're going to add sign just like we did for the scratch module. 
And now it's the colors are changing. However, they're not doing it as it morphs. So if we match the period to six and the scale to two, when the objects morph, the color changes with it, which is exactly what I want. So this is the final result. We can add more particles if you'd like. Um, but if I pop it in the layer, there it is. Um, yeah, so this is the effect. Um, let me know if you have any questions and please subscribe. That would help me a lot. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.